Fuck. decision, Barry. All right, so here we go, round one of this 10-round fight. First of a double dip here in Mulvane, Kansas, here on Showbox. Small ring, incidentally, and you would think that would favor the aggressive fighter, but we'll see. Yeah, small ring, but hard, a hard ring, which would favor the, uh, the mover. Hernandez, 73 fights as an amateur. Most of those were before he was even a teenager. And Ward also, most of his fights very young in the juniors because he turned pro at 18. Pro experience, you see the huge rounds advantage for Ward because he almost always goes the distance. You know, another interesting thing about this fight is this fight was really made on Facebook, on a Facebook connection. It's a uh, sign of the times, Barry, yes. Maybe that's the new way. Maybe, what fights are going to be made now. Well, if you get called out on Facebook, a lot of people see it. It's absolutely true. Put matchmakers out of business. Huh? Well, that's what, that, that's what social media does. <laughs> Key for Ward, of course, is stay busy. Out working. Pretty good body shots there. And another one. Very good. And one thing I noticed about Ward on tape, and there's plenty of YouTube on him, is that he almost will never throw more than two punches at a time. If he lands one or two, he takes a step back. <laughs> yeah, right now he's got Hernandez a little bit off balance. Yeah, I think a lot of work subtle movement and his footwork is excellent and is putting uh, Hernandez out of balance. Hernandez said he was going to set the pace. He said he was going to put some pressure, but he's going he's to have to uh, do a little bit better than what he's doing now. Intelligent pressure. He didn't want to run into Ward's counters. I think you're right, Ward does only throw a couple of punches at a time, but he's very quick with those two punches. Yeah, and I could. Yep. And Raul, I have to think that when you're not trying to hurt your opponent, in some ways it's easier. You I know. agree. Yeah, you just put punches together. Yeah. You don't have to load up. He's connected. He's scoring points like he is right there. You know, the other thing to mention about him, too, he does only have four knockouts, but three of them have come in his last six fights. And some of his people said, you know, he's getting stronger. Man strength, yeah. He's a very young fighter. What, 24, I believe? Yeah, 24 years old to have 25 pro fights. It's a lot. And again, he got the better of that inside. Very fast, explosive combination by Ward. Yeah, they said he's starting to sit down more on his shots, and that's where the, the power is coming from. And I, I could see that. You know, he's a smart, thinking fighter. He's thinking in there. He's not just in there to fight. A little surprising Hernandez fought orthodox the whole round. He usually fights southpaw. He mixes it up, but he fights southpaw more than orthodox. A very effective round for Thomas Patrick Ward. We talked with both guys yesterday as to what their strategy in this fight might be. And... Uh, it was pretty much as you would expect. Here is Jesse Hernandez. I'm just a little more aggressive. You know, if I know the guy can't hurt me, you know, I just keep coming forward, don't give him any breathing room. And uh, like I said, eventually he's gonna, he's gonna give in. And um, you know, one thing I have to do is, is, is uh, work the body a lot, especially in those early rounds. And that's, I'm just gonna break him down, plain and simple. I believe that Hernandez is a strong come forward fighter, so. I believe I'm going to be walking him onto some some shots, making him miss, making him pay, getting some rounds in the bank. So it comes to round two of this fight, scheduled 4-10. Yeah. Hernandez, despite only having the 12, 5, 14 fights, two of them are no contest, but still the more experienced of the two despite the fact that Ward has had 25 fights. I mean, he's fought pr two pretty decent fighters here on Showbox. Hernandez threw only 32 punches in round one. That's because Ward's hard to hit. And Ward's not moving that much. He's standing in the pocket. Yeah, he is. He's very quick. That right hand comes very quick. It's not a big shot, but it gets home. <laughs> Counter left hand from Hernandez that time. Now Hernandez boxing southpaw. 
but he's missing a lot. There he is. He's right. missing. <laughs> Ward came to New York, came early, came last week actually, just to just get over the jet lag. First time he's fought in the United States, but not the first time he's been in the United States. He was in Florida with his family on just on a holiday. Again, a pretty good straight right hand, got the midsection of Hernandez. He's doing enough to keep Hernandez off balance. Yeah, that's it. He has faster feet and it's showing. And you see Hernandez sort of winding up a little bit to punch. And by the time he's so he's telegraphed. Yeah, exactly. There was a three punch combination in close quarters by Ward. All got there. He's making Hernandez look like his feet are on sand, you know. He's too slow on his feet. Hernandez, he can't catch up to Ward because of, of his quickness, his, his footwork is so good. You know, that little subtle movement to the right, to the left, he's in and out. Fast explosive combinations and he's having big problems trying to find him. Yeah. There he is with the combination again. And both got there that time. That combination was a little short. Ah. He ducks under a right hand from Hernandez nicely. Hernandez keeps missing with that wild overhand right. I mean, uh, he did it like three or four times. He needs to turn it up into an uppercut or maybe aim for the chest. You can't hit the, the head, aim for the chest. Yeah, he just has to get closer. You know, Raul, you said something at the top of the show about our main event that I think is applying to this. You said Ergasha can't fall into the rhythm of Fox and fall behind. Well, I think that's what <laughs> yes. Hernandez is doing right yeah. here. He's falling into the rhythm of Ward. Exactly. And, he, and, and then you get, like, hypnotized. You get lost. You start swinging wild. You lose focus. And it looks to me like Hernandez is doing this in this uh, early in the second round. Yeah, a little bit of redness around the right eye of Hernandez as well. He's just getting out quick. He, yeah, he, he's getting frustrated now. I see frustration in his face. That's nice, though. Just watch him for loading, watch him for loading. Just make him throw them, make him throw them. Nice and smooth. You're boxing lovely. We'll keep going underneath. Let's pick it up more. We gotta pick it up more, right? Let's pick it up more. We gotta step it up more. We gotta start taking it to this guy now. Time to go to work, okay? Let's go. This fit? This bucket right here. This fit? This fit? Okay, be bad, be bad, be bad, be bad. You ready? Let's go, baby. Let's go to work. Come on. Shut the distance down. Let's go. Let's go. So here we go, round three. First two rounds, I would think, pretty clearly in the corner of, of Ward. You know, Barry, his handlers told us that in 147 rounds he's fought in his career, he's lost only four or five. Now, granted, that's his people. I don't know if it's accurate. Right. But if it is accurate, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Well, you can see, I mean, they talk about stylists in boxing, and that's what he is. Yeah. Complete, yeah. Not everybody's cup of tea, but it's nice, a beautiful uh -huh. boxing. Boxing lesson so far. And Hernandez's people said to us, you know, Ward's never fought a Mexican style fighter before. He's going to have difficulty. Well, so far he's not. No, he's not. He's going to have a lot of supporters. This fight, incidentally, is being shown in England, and uh, he already had a number of supporters in the UK. And if this continues, he's going to have a lot more. <laughs> well, for once. For one, look, Hernandez is making the mistake of trying to single punch. He's trying to load up with too much with his shots. He needs to just let him go, put combinations together. And he's coming straight forward. He's missing a lot. That's where he's got to take advantage. He's got to work the body there. Work the body in, on both sides. Yeah, when he's given three yeah. shots, Raul, he has to punch to the body. And he's had more success this round, at least pinning yes. Ward to the ropes. Still not connecting a lot. No. But that, that's the kind of fight he's got to... He's got to give, you know, he might have to take three or four shots to get in there with one shot. That was a good right hand yeah. from Hernandez, maybe his best. Better, yeah. better round for Hernandez. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. No. Maybe the uppercut for Hernandez, because Ward's doing a lot of bending at the waist. Left hand from Hernandez. Chopping right hand. 
power punches. Look at the percentage for Ward, 47%. You know the rule, anytime you're around 50%, you're probably winning the fight. Ward just kind of waiting on Hernandez here, looking to counter, perhaps. Good left hand of the body by Ward. And Ward sticks a right hand in. Takes a left hand from Hernandez, though. Hernandez bounces back and forth from orthodox to southpaw. Nice little step in, and Hernandez took a funny little step Yeah, there. he did. Tough round to score because Ward had a good last minute, but the first two minutes were Hernandez. Tell me he doesn't like the body shots, son. I'm getting it too. He doesn't like the body shots. Don't try to add. I'm getting to him. You know, he doesn't like the shots. You want to lie on the ropes, man? I'm comfortable, you know. Yeah, but sink them in. Listen, there. listen. <laughs> just keep smooth, keep smooth. Just grind them down, grind them down. We need to just keep tagging them and tagging them. Yeah. He hates the left hook to the body. Yeah. He hates it. Just and then off a roll, lovely shot. Keep popping them, right? just keep. When he's southpaw, if he comes in, drop the shot through the middle on it. Drop your right hand to his body. Just keep picking away, picking away. You're only just warming up. Not only is Ward landing, more power shots, but he's also landed more body shots, and that was a very effective shot. You saw Hernandez sort of recoil after getting hit with that left hook to the body. So this is round four. Last round, a close round. Yeah, it's very important, Barry, to win these rounds for Hernandez to apply pressure, because even if it's ineffective pressure, and at times it was in round three, judges are more likely to favor him. He's throwing, if he's the one throwing punches, even if he misses. And again, very quick combination from Ward, and that was a three punch combination, ending with the left to the body. Tell you what, he's really putting his combinations together now, the three and four punch combination. Very sharp in there. Talking about Ward. And he comes back, when he finishes his combination, he comes back with a double jab. And that was a nice jab, left, right hand. He's really mixing it up, too. He's throwing some good body shots. Comes up over the top every now and then. But Hernandez is not going to win from the outside. At long range like that, that's not his fight. That body shot again, and then a hook to the head. Yeah. We're just going to pick him apart from the outside. And Hernandez did tell us yesterday he was thinking at least about trying to outbox Ward because yeah. he's longer. Yeah. But uh, Raul, you're right. He can't, he can't win that way. No. See, Ward, he keeps dissecting him with that jab. Yeah. And again, the jab was caught in the gloves, and then he came with the right hand and scored. On your card? Third Two round, very close. Yeah. Yeah. I gave it to Hernandez. So also. I. Again, a nice combination. Three punch combination that ended with an uppercut. It missed, but it was still a nice combination. Not much doubt who's winning this round. No. Pretty, pretty nifty, isn't he? Yeah. He is. He's really nifty. There shouldn't be a problem for Ward to keep up with this pace because, I mean, he's gone the distance many times. So this is his type of fight. And a pretty good pace. Kind of picking his shots. Yeah. And Very tricky. Being, being effective. And really not letting Hernandez get off. Again, very quick. Caught the left hand of Hernandez on the glove and then came to the right hand of the body. Yeah, that was caught on the glove. Well, that, that uppercut's a good punch. Ward bending at the waist. And there's a left hand drops Hernandez. Clean left hand. Five, six, seven, eight. Walk over here. Walk over here. You good? And I'm not.
I'm not sure he's back all the way yet, Raul, at the no, bell. No, he's not. He's not. Come on, Wade, you take it too slow. You waited for it too much now. Wow. That was about as clean a shot as you can imagine. <laughs> One punch power from a guy with four knockouts at 25. That, that really shows he's really sitting down on his shots now. Come on, Wade. Yeah, man strength. Yes. Second time Hernandez has been down uh, on show Showbox. He was knocked down by Ernesto Garza. Got up to win that fight before losing your way from the ring. Watch just how sudden this punch comes. Is it a counter punch? No, it's not. It's a lead. And he basically threw a left hook that was short the same time Hernandez threw a left hook or started to throw a left hook that was wide. Watch Hernandez start his left hook. Doesn't even get close to landing. And uh, was he said by the bell? We'll never know, but know. that knockdown came at the very end of the round. That was about as clean a punch as I can recall seeing. Yeah, he's very uh, precise, very accurate with his shots. So that, now, that one showed. Yeah, it yeah. did. We'll see what that's taken out of Hernandez, if anything. And let's see if it changes Ward's approach. I doubt he'll get careless. He doesn't strike me as a guy who will do that. Brings the left hand of the body. There's a counter to the left hand of the body. That a strong jab from Ward. That's, that's the way he's winning the rounds with this little three and four punch combinations. There's, There's another good again. one, yeah. Except for the last round when he landed that big shot. And, and he might be trying to prepare. He might be looking for that shot again. I, I wouldn't surprise me. I think Hernandez is a little bit discouraged, guys, from the last round uh, knockdown. Well, he's getting out worked. Yes. He's getting out quicked. And, and so far, he's getting out punched. Which we did not anticipate. No. <laughs> you know, it goes back to this. Oh, another good right hand. Nice body shot again. He, he's still in the body shots now. Ward sitting down on the shots, body shots. He's having a good time in there. He's having fun. I'm telling you, he's he's impressing a lot of people. The three people at this desk in particular. He's just teeing off now. Yeah, in England, uh, his brother Martin Ward was a, a better known fighter than he was. Right. Oh. Another good body shot. And that was that was a counter. Two more to the bottom. Now he comes upstairs. Who's the puncher in this fight? Yeah. Check, I'm checking my notes. Maybe, maybe they switched maybe, trunks. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. <laughs> yeah, he's, we're showing a lot of power. Showing everything, in, you know, what it takes to be a, a top-level fighter. Got the speed. Got the footwork. He's thinking in there. Good body punching. Good power. Yeah. Hernandez ducked into that left hand again. And Raul, because Ward's punches are short, he's never he never takes himself off balance. Uh, he's, he's, uh, you, you can see, I mean, he, he's in good balance. Uh, his body's in the center. He's never lunging, never leaning forward. Look at Another that. good right oh. hand, and I think that got Hernandez's attention. Hernandez backs into the ropes. Little half step back, counter with the right hand. I think Hernandez is still feeling that shot. Look, look how how Ward keeps his body in the center when Another he throws his lead. And a good left hand again to finish it. I did. These last two rounds have been just about perfection for Will. Yeah. Well, he's building a lead. Ha! It's halftime of this fight, and this fight is being controlled by the fighter from England. Ward with 51% of his power shots, 82 to 24. That's utter domination. Total punches, he's I've landed Hernandez by about three times. And you see early on, what Ward did was establish that he wasn't, he didn't need to run, and that he was willing to punch the body. And because he's so quick, he landed those body shots without taking anything in return. And watch this left hook. Just an absolutely perfect shot. That's an extra point for Ward. He was winning that round anyway. He's up a good uh, four points on the cards. That's what I got him, four points up.
So do I. Now a little redness under the left eye of Hernandez. This is round six. We're scheduled for ten. Doesn't Hernandez look like a fighter without any answers? Yes, he does. You know, he looks confused. Yes, he does. He's tried everything. He's, he's turned south, though. He's turned right. He's tried to box ineffectively. Only once in this fight, I forget what round it was. I think it was round three. Did he get Ward against the ropes at all? Yeah, Ward just kept you right. He just kept right in the middle of the ring. Another nice combination from Ward. Back to Hernandez into the ropes. Yeah, Hernandez is so discouraged. I think if Ward picks up his punch out, I'll put, put most combinations together and really presses the action. Might stop him. He could. I was saying earlier, it goes down to this, you know, sometimes I know Hernandez felt pretty confident about going in, in there with this guy with Ward, but you really don't know how fast the guy is until you're in there. And I think that's the, the factor tonight. But he can't deal with the speed, his footwork. He can't find him. And that's why he's completely lost. Now he's lunging with his shots. Every time Fernandez lunges, he's going to get countered. He's going to get picked apart like that. Again, a sharp left hook and a left hand of the body. Look at that, one shot. That was like three shots by Hernandez, and every one of them he paused like one or two seconds. Too slow. He, he's got to put them together. He's got to start touching him with the jab and just go for bro, get close. Nice Look shot that. again. It's that left hook. The first time he dropped him, he did it with a lead left hook. This yep. time it was in combination. Yep, and there's another combination right up the middle. Hernandez now in retreat. Hernandez fighting like a guy that just doesn't want any more of this. Oh. And even though Ward is utterly dominant, you notice he stays calm, stays in, in, yes. his, in his rhythm. Yep. He's not trying to do too much. Oh, another sharp shot. Finishes it with the right hand. Hernandez was really anxious to fight this guy. And I'm not sure there are going to be too many other guys around <laughs> who are going to be quite so anxious. Ward's starting to bust him up. <laughs> He's taking a lot of abuse. I'm not going to let you get beat up. Coach, he's taking a lot of abuse. Hey, you got to start showing me something. I'm going to stop this fight. He's good. He's doing good. He's good. He's good. Man. Got to work, Wayne. Got to work. Right here. Got to go to work right here. Close the distance. Don't fight. He's beating you from the distance. From the distance, catching you on the outside. Start moving your head. Get in like we do. Get in. Get in. Get in. Start working right there. How you feel? You feel good? You gotta push it, Wade. You gotta push it right here, Wade. You gotta go, Wade. The only way to beat this guy is dropping him. You gotta stop him. Stop him right here. We're behind. We're behind. We gotta go to work. Let's go. Let's go. You gotta go to work, Wade, right here. Come on. Take a look at action from round six. I mentioned that Ward doesn't throw more than one or two punches at a time. There he throws three. And that left hook buckled for the and, and he's been pretty consistent throwing three punches in this show me something, son. I'm gonna stop this fight. Total to the next, the last three rounds, 85 to 18 for Ward. And in Hernandez's corner, they're realistic. They said, you're behind, you gotta knock him out. And you gotta get inside. So, whether or not Hernandez can do that remains to be seen. And it might seem early to say he needs a knockout because we're in round seven, but I think indeed on the cards he does. The only round we gave Hernandez could have gone the other way. Yeah, exactly. That was a left hand from the oh. He listens very well too. Ford. Going to call for that punch. He delivered it. Yep. Missed with the left hand, scored with the right. It's interesting. Uh, Ward's corner is very vocal. Very excited. 
I don't hear anything coming from Hernandez. No. Again, excellent jab. I mean, so far it's been a clinic for Thomas Patrick Ward. I'm very pleasantly surprised. Me too. I can't say I was expecting utter domination. Power shots, solid shots. Box. And you know, another thing Hernandez has failed to do, he's, he's not making it an ugly fight, and he kind of needs to. How many times have you seen Bill Clancy separate them? Right. I don't, I don't That's think true. once. That is true. Wow, look at that, 51% for Ward. The number keeps getting higher. I think one of the reasons is Ward has consistently been first. Yes. Right hand in close quarters. Right, no punch, step. Step. Barry, I don't remember the last time you called a punch for Hernandez. <laughs> no, it's absolutely, it's true. It, yeah, this is just a, a, a whooping. Man, he's getting home. rattled all kinds of ways. Let's get to a point like Hernandez is not even trying. Like he, he feel like he's scared to throw a punch because he's gonna get hit. Yeah, more than once. Yes. Look at that. Just what happened. Yeah. Good body shot again. But collectively, those have to be slowing Hernandez down too. Looking for that big hook again by Ward. Watch, he's gonna sit on it. Five seconds, bell's coming. Stop at the bell. Oh. Clinic. Well, still to come, our main event of the evening. You're looking at Shojahon Ergashev. And he is a no-nonsense kind of guy. Perfect record he will put on the line tonight against this guy who is no easy opponent. As we said, 6'4", unusually tall yes. for this weight division. His brother Alantes, who fought Demetrius Andre, among others, is 6'5". Man, come on, dig, baby, dig for your family, your kids, baby, let's go, let's dig, let's work. This is it, everything, come on. Gotta stay busy. Get in there. Let's go. Put three, one, two, threes together. Come on. A lot of cheerleading going on in the corner of uh, Hernandez, but uh, cheerleading may not get it done. I don't know. Yeah, they, they were telling him to work inside, but at this point. I think he needs Mike, more motivation. There, there, I mean, he knows he's got to work inside. Walk out, walk out. He needs motivation to go out there and look for the knockout. That's the only way he's going to win. He's getting busted up. That's he's the got, bottom he's got, line. He's got two rounds. He's got to get close. Well, on the rare occasions when Hernandez has been close, Ford's not even embarrassed to hold. No. Eight rounds or more, Ward's far more experienced. No KOs, but that's not his game. Well. But you know what what's really strikes me about Ward too, Steve, is that he's a really well-schooled fighter. You know, fundamentally sound guy. Yes. And what I like best about him is punches are very short. Very focused. And uh, he keeps winning rounds. I, I believe it now when they say he's only lost like four or five rounds. Because yeah. on our cards, what he lost. Maybe he lost. Maybe, maybe one. Maybe, maybe, maybe one. Maybe. maybe. Well, you see Hernandez is keeping his hands in his pockets now. Show stats, interesting number here. Hernandez is three fight average, 81 punches per round. Tonight, 38. Uh, that tells the whole story. Yeah. In the meantime, Ward stays on the gas. Maybe not quite as busy as he was in some of the earlier rounds, but still dictating the fight.
smart. Look at Ward knows how to smother him in the inside. And just keep Hernandez from getting any kind of momentum. Throwing any punches there. He let some sh shots go there. Yeah, and he was inside. But then he gets countered with three or four, five. And a good, strong left hand of the body. Yeah, right now, Ward's beating Hernandez at his own game. Every, everything he tries is working. Everything. Yeah. Still has just as much zip on his punches as he did earlier also. Gets Hernandez to miss three times. He tried. I'm just tried, but... Too slow, and he's loading up to yeah, yeah, the walk right into a right hand. Punches a long for her. Yeah. Another counter left hand. Big finish for Ward. Last round, Wes. Last round. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Hands down. Last round. No, let me see the towel. Get his nose. Take the breath. Last round, Wade. You gotta go, Wade. You gotta go. It's too late. Now we got to go. We gotta go for the knockout right here, baby. The only way you're gonna win, you gotta knock him out. You gotta stop this kid right here, baby. Two more rounds, huh? No, it's, it's it right here. Nine rounds. Nine rounds. I think it's a ten. I think it's a ten. No, it's nine rounds. Nine Let's go to work. We take a look at round eight. Watch the long punches. See, they're long. They're wide. No problem for Ward to see them, and then he comes back and counters. And there's that left hook. And why did it land? Because Hernandez was winding up with his shots. And not only that, he squares up too. Yep. Totally squared up. Well, right Hernandez down. has right six down. minutes Bobby, to try here. to get things done here. Doc, come here. Right over here, sir. Come here. Come here. Doc, he's getting beat up. He's getting beat up. He's getting really beat up. You're not, I don't see any answer you have for him. I, I'm, I'm gonna, I want your huh. opinion, what you think he looks like, and... I don't, I don't think I have any reason to stop it. All right, I'm, I've got you on a real short leash, son. You're getting beat up, okay? Thanks, son. Well, I think you heard that conversation. Yeah. That's all you need to know. Ready? Fuck! Hernandez better throw punches. Yeah. Yeah. I think Bill Clance is saying this you're getting beat up because of what he looks like. Yeah. It's not right. just the punches he's yeah. taking, but he's marked this up. You know, it's interesting, on, on Showbox, we've, we've given the first American television exposure to a lot of really good British fighters. Carl Frotch, yep. Ricky Hatton, Tyson Fury. But we've done it with those three in England. This is here. That's right. Makes it a lot harder for Ward, and not that he's it, in that class. And makes it that much more impressive, yeah. too. And he has a ways to go to become the world champions. Those guys are. This is a this is a big introduction. I'll say. I mean, one, you know, once again, we talk about it all the time, but that really is what the mission of this series is all about. You know, yeah. to find guys like this guy. You who, know? who heard of Thomas Ward in America before this? Fight? Nobody. Nobody. Let's go. Including the three of us. Exactly. <laughs> But, you know, you walked out of that meeting that we had with him yesterday and you thought, you know, this guy's got a chance to win this fight. And he's, he's beating a guy that, you know, uh, is pretty decent. He yeah. had a couple of wins Work here on Showbox. Work out of it. Work out of it. Let it go. Push. Push. Steps back. He's got really good feet. Quick feet. Very light on his feet. Quick feet and quick hands. Good defense. A lot of the punches hit his gloves, hit his arms. He ducks underneath, counters. Takes a step back. A lot of Hernandez's punches. Running to the wind. <laughs> And then he takes two of them. Here's a break, guys. Here's a break. Now on the inside, it's Ward that's yeah. getting the job done. Those are 
Left to right hand rally, backs Hernandez out. Hands are free. Let him go. You see Hernandez trying to hold on. Oh, there was a right hand from Hernandez that did get there, and another one behind it, and the third one. But Ward is right there. I think Ward should keep him there in close quarters because he's worn out. It's not that he's worn out, but he's punching. But why give Hernandez any chance? Yeah, true. But if he's looking for the knockout and he wants the knockout, it could yeah, happen. Yeah. That's the only way he's going to get a knockout, yeah. but that's really not his M.O. Right. Maybe he wants to impress in front of the American crowd. Well, I'm, I'm impressed already. He don't, he, don't, he don't need a knockout to impress me. That's right, Wayne. That's right. Hands down, hands down. Hands down, hands down, hands down. Hands down. Take a deep breath. I think you can make a case for Hernandez in that breath. Nah. No. Gotta go to work right here, Wayne. Right. Gotta go to work. Just See how easily he convinced that? Yeah. Gotta stay on him doing that. Cannot stop. Feel that body. Downstairs, upstairs. Upstairs, downstairs. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Get the job going and make a miss. Don't stand and trade. When you trade, shut him down. Bang a few, shut him down, and then tie him up. Listen. You stay put on it on your win. Listen, sir. Take a deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath. Deep breath. You gotta go right here. Tenth and final round, they touch gloves. Three minutes left for Hernandez to salvage this thing. And in round nine, Ward landed 39 punches as high as the fight. That's a lot of lands, that's a lot of connects. You know, the 122 pound division is wide open with a lot of young champions who are fighting often. You have Ray Vargas, TJ Dahani, Daniel Roman, who we know from Showbox, Emmanuel Navarrete. I don't think Ward's that far away from a fight with one of those. You know, guys. it doesn't seem like it, does it? I, honestly, I think he's there, Steve. Yeah. Next fight could be. Push. Push. Let him go. Let him go, Angel. Let him go. Right. No punch. Stop. Wow, that is a. Uh, Frightening number of punches landed through nine rounds while well, running total 243 punches per year. That is just not the way we thought he'd win this fight. Don't hold, don't hold. There's a left hand from Ward again. It's, he's just been on the gas right from the opening bell and he's not gotten off. Hands are free, hands are free. You're free. Fought the fight, exactly the fight he needed to do to win. Left hand from Hernandez slipped in. I think Hernandez had maybe a false sense of security going, going into this fight. Well, I, it's very possible. I mean, he was fighting an unknown quantity. Yeah. And he thought he'd just be too strong and too aggressive. He told us, he said, I, I'm sure that I can keep the pressure up for 10 rounds and I can break him down. That was his game plan going in. Well, guess what? <laughs> Excellent work by, by Neil Fannin, the trainer of Ward, throughout the fight. Even at round 10, Ward, I mean, look at the combinations he's throwing, but what I like about him is balance. He's very smart at finding the right range. Yeah. You know, mid-range or long range or even short to connect with his shots. He keeps doing it yeah. throughout the whole fight really benefited Ward too that he's been 10 rounds or longer five definitely, times. Definitely, definitely. And his volume is just as good now as it was in the opening round. He's taking a few shots on Hernandez here. Now he's feeling a lot of bravado. I think Hernandez is gonna run that battle but lost the war. Yesterday, we asked Ward's people, are you worried about, you know, getting a fair shake here in Kansas? Their answer, you just have to hope and pray you get a fair shake. Well, I don't think they have to worry. No, but uh, have we not said that before? <laughs> yes. 
Well, it is in the hands of the judges, and uh, from our viewpoint, this was uh, an artistic performance put on by the English visitor. And he was, he was well coached, he was well trained. He fought a very smart fight. He did everything that could have been asked of him, by the yeah. way. Yeah, he deserves to be uh, put on the shoulders of his handler. Absolutely. And the numbers here, Ward with the advantage in jabs, but the key number, 52% of his power shots with a big number, 207. Ward also did better work to the body. I don't think we would have thought that at the start of the no, fight. So just no. uh, dominating in every way. Well, it started out very well for Ward. Punching in combination, not feeling the need to circle the ring and use a lot of lateral movement because of how quick his feet are and how quick he is in general with his hands. Round four was the round that pretty much locked away a huge lead for Ward, and there it is. A clean left hook. This is a guy with four knockouts and 25 wins. Tell Hernandez Ward can't punch. Nobody's gonna have to tell him. He looks in the mirror, he'll know it. And yeah, Hernandez is not a great defensive fighter. We know that. We came in thinking he was a better offensive fighter than defensive, but nonetheless, Ward landed such a high percentage of his punches. And I said he never throws more than two punches. He was throwing three and four punch combinations by the end of this fight, and he grew, actually grew bolder as the fight progressed. All Ward, all the time. All right, we'll see if the judges saw it the way we did. Here is Thomas Triber. Ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge David Sutherland scores it 100 to 89. Judge Karen Holderfield scores it 99 to 90. And Judge Mike Contreras scores it 98 to 90. All in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. And now the NABA USA Super Bantamweight Champion, Thomas Patrick Ward. What a well-earned win, I'd have to say. Hello, Mr. Uh, Ward. Nice Hello. to meet you. Hello <laughs> and stay a while. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he did everything he set out to do. He had to be impressed, bro. Very impressed. Big introduction uh, for him here for the first fight here in the United States, like I said in the past. He showed a little bit of everything. I love his uh, composure, his focus for a guy that, you know, doesn't have a lot of fights. I mean, well, he does have a lot of fights. He's got a lot of fights, but uh, being his first time here in the States, showed speed, footwork, even power, dropped him. He's going to be a hard uh, fighter to beat this weight class. Yeah, what else could he have done? Nothing. Nothing. Complete, Nothing. complete performance. We are set now for our main event of the evening here.